and it's a one and a half mile maiden next for the older horses and at the top is Big Horse for Graham Clitterbuck, Big Burgundy for M. McMilkerton, Calderwood Heartbeat for Adam Old, Drawback Arrow for CDJ Liggett, El Paso Fury, Vinnie Gerard, Glo Global Empire, Craig Beckwith, Gunslinger Contact, Thomas Rogers, Lakota Enzyme for Padre Hogan, Master Fiddle, D. Slattery, One True Faith, Leon Van Rinsburg, or Tia Given for Matt Cooper, Rings of Kiddie, Stu Gray, Avalanche, Obi Wan, Coastal Bluff, Kevin Midhan, Jenis Risser, Marty Lederman, Never Look Back for Craig Allen. So, big feel for this one as well. And ready to go, and away they go. And it'll be the first one to show this time. Looks like One True Faith for Leon has burst out into the lead, but quickly collared by Calder Mud Heartbeat in the pale blue jacket, which I think has been taken over by somebody other than John Morgan this season, it's Adam Old, I think, but it's Colden with Heartbeat who's in the lead and has quickly gone three clear from Lakota Enzyme in second and then comes Big Horse, One True Faith is next in Global Empire, but two of them already being pushed along towards the back, but the leader, Colden with Heartbeat, has opened up by a good four lengths already to the yellow and black of Lakota Enzyme on the inside, then Big Burgundy in Global Empire, all to your given is after that, One True Faith, then Rings Kiddy in Coastal Bluff, Big Horse is trapped on that row. You can see now closest to us as we switch angles and group towards the back. The back marker is Master Fiddle just in front of that one. He's draw back arrow, but it's Colden with Heartbeat who's five clear. Of the blue jacketed Big Burgundy, who's just showing second ahead of all tier given on the outside Global Empire. Then wider still is Rings of Kitty, and down on the inside there was Grand Clutterbox Horse. Uh, big horse, but looking towards the back still, the back marker is Master Fiddle, Genesis Risser and Drawback Arrow and Never Look Back are also out of the back as well, but it's Colder Mud Heartbeat leading by just two now as the pack begins to close, there's little more than five furlongs left to go in this one, and Colder Mud Heartbeat is in the lead, but now being strongly pressed by Global Empire, then comes Coastal Bluff and Big Horse, Rings of Kiddies after that one, One True Faith, all to given, being pushed along, trying to make a forward move now, is Gunslinger Contact, Avalanche is also so coming there with the run, El Paso Fury is going to try and come wide. Never look back's trying to get into it as well. They're through the round of it, a draw back arrow. Genesis Risser and Master Fiddle, but it's Colder Mud Heartbeat who leads by a couple of lengths still. To Global Empire in second, Big Horse on the inside is third. Then One True Faith rings a kitty. He's still there as well. Coastal Bluff trying to get into it. All to and Givens not beaten yet. Trying to make a forward move now. He's never looked back, but it's still Cold and Mud Heartbeat who's got the lead and got the round. Now One True Faith comes out of the pack looking like a danger. Then comes Global Empire El Paso Fury Gunslinger Contact. He's coming through as well. Then after that one comes Black Oater ends in, but it's now One True Faith who's hit the lead. One True Faith inside the final half. Long now being pressed by El Paso Fury. El Paso Fury takes it up. Here comes Never Look Back. But it's El Paso Fury that takes it. Never Look Back is second. One True Faith is third. Then Coastal Bluff and Avalanche will tee a given runner being one. Master Fiddle was the last one to finish. And Colden would heart be dropped right over it as well. After losing the lead, but it's a win for El Paso Fury for Vinnie Gerard. Never look back for Craig Allen is second. One True Faith for Leon Van Rensburg was third. Coastal Bluff for Kevin Meenan fourth. And Avalanche for Obi Wan was fifth. Worth pointing out the sixth place horse there or tier given for the new trainer this season, Matt Cooper. That you may not realise that that is a really good result for your first first week in the league, and that one is probably at the moment the best horse you've had out so far.